no pantry, no problem. Thanks to iDesign for sponsoring this video. Having a small kitchen on top of having no pantry is not only intimidating, but very challenging. I will be sharing how I helped a deserving family create a pantry inside their kitchen cabinets, turning it from this to this in two days. And if you don't have a pantry, you may want to stick around to see this. Plus, I threw in a bonus and organized under their kitchen sink. The homeowners were already using their upper cabinets as their pantry. It was just a little unorganized. Having the homeowner to remove and check expiration dates lets the homeowner see what they have and what's being wasted. They have a small cabinet that's not being used to its full potential and another cabinet that needs a little attention. Depending on the family's needs, I always like to address canned goods, and I'm using the iDesign 3-tier expandable shelf that expands up to 19 inches. If you have a lot of canned goods, organize them first because they are the most challenging. I'm now using my favorite staple ever, the iDesign the Home Edit Divided Turntable with Removable Bin to help keep loose items and bottles upright. It's easy to view and easy to just grab and go. Pantry bins are being used to house box dinners and overstock. Remember that narrow cabinet that wasn't being used to its full potential? The homeowner loves to bake, so I created a mini baking station. All of their oils was taking up so much room inside the cabinets, so I poured the oils inside these olive oil bottles that I got from TJ Maxx for only $2.99. And having your olive oils in dark bottles will extend your oil's shelf life. I design and the Home Edit Medium Organizer is being used to store sprinkles, and the OXO All-Purpose Mini Dispenser is being used to hold more baking essentials. Rice, flour, and sugar, and spices, and baking goods are inside the cabinet next to the stove. Again, I've streamlined it to make it more functional for the way they cook. Their dry goods containers have seen better days. As you can see, the tops wouldn't even close. I've encouraged the homeowners to invest in OXO containers to seal their goods, and using OXO will save them money over time. The cereal was kept on top of the fridge, again, using OXO containers to keep everything fresher longer. Another three-tier rack was being used to keep all of their spices together, and I used a chalk pen to write on them. And I've even added a packet season organizer that's also by iDesign, and a pantry bin that's being used for their lunches. I noticed that the homeowner was having an issue with organization under their kitchen sink and some clutter on top of the counters, so I decided to whip that into shape for them too. I just cannot leave it like that for them. So starting under the kitchen sink is the most unorganized area in our homes and I'm sure you all can agree. And just like the upper cabinets, we pulled everything out to have a clean slate. We found a lot of half empty and empty bottles and products that they just weren't using. The fire extinguisher went back first. If you don't have one, please get one, you never know. I added iDesign and the Home Edit all-purpose bin with divider that are stackable, and it's perfect for larger items. They're durable, they're easy to carry, and the clear containers let you see when items are getting low. iDesign stackable bins are perfect for under the sink. Its open front makes it easy to grab items effortlessly. Dish liquid are on the top stackable bin, and trash bags are at the bottom for easy access. I'm also using iDesign stackable pantry bins to house Swifter pads, sponges, magic erasers, and other small items that are also contained, but you can clearly see your items. Dishwasher tabs are being stored inside the iDesign stackable pantry bins that are airtight sealed. They don't run the dishwasher that often, so it's tucked away, but it can be visibly seen. My motto is and always will be, a clean kitchen is a luxurious kitchen. If you have a lot of clutter and items you're not using, or if it doesn't have any meaning, get rid of it. We found a home for items they don't use daily and put other items where they needed to go. Everything is clean and crisp, giving the homeowner plenty of elbow room for food prep and entertaining. I also created a small coffee station too, so I hope this has inspired you to get organized and get all that clutter out of your life, and I want to thank you all for watching.